So last week on the program, we talked about how Republicans and MAGA chuds, they were outraged because reasonable people dared to warn that as COVID cases surge, you might want to consider scaling back your Thanksgiving celebration so we don't spread COVID-19 to our loved ones. Uh, and of course, you know, the right, they uh, threw a tantrum over that. Charlie Kirk claimed that the left doesn't actually care about COVID and this is just our covert effort to destroy thanksgiving as if we don't also like to eat delicious food and hang out with our friends and family uh, on top of that uh, you had other individuals such as steven crowder tweet out as for me and my household we will celebrate thanksgiving we will have a house full of family friends and kin we will give thanks together pray together and make merry with grateful and joyous hearts this is now rebellion so in other words let's kill grandma to own the libs very smart, very big brained Steven Crowder. And I love how he's trying to make it seem as if like praying together with family and friends is rebellious. Motherfucker, if you were born 50 years earlier, you would be one of the people sounding the alarm about how rock and roll is devil worship and it's making teenagers more promiscuous or some bullshit like that. You are not someone who has a rebellious heart. You are a bootlicker. You are a quintessential bootlicker. So shut the fuck up. But I mean, like, this is what I expect from these sorts of right-wing ideologues. But when it comes to members of the United States Congress, you'd expect them to be at least a little bit more responsible. But unfortunately, that is uh, not what we got because Ted Cruz decided to tweet out, you want my turkey liberals? You better come and take it from me. I'm the only one who's going to be fucking this turkey. <laughs> I mean, eating this turkey. <laughs> So, I mean, it's funny because he, he's like trying to be this badass and he's like, come and get my turkey. Ted, you're not some defender of liberty. You literally tried to get dildos banned in Texas. Like, you don't even think that Americans deserve the liberty to fuck themselves. So don't pretend as if you are like this fighter for American values. Like, you're, you're a clown. You are a clown. And because it's Ted Cruz, and even though he tries so hard to make people like him, He's just so hateable. He has a punchable face. And as someone with a punchable face myself, I can actually say that. And I don't think it's controversial. Uh, but the internet responded as the internet responds to things that Ted Cruz says. I mean, they ruthlessly and hilariously clowned on him. Majority Report responded saying, good one, Ted. <laughs> and they shared this gif of him trying to dribble a basketball through his legs. I, I love this gif. Uh, you've got people pointing out the thousands of individuals lining up in Texas for food, which is his state. And you think that if he's worried about a war on Thanksgiving, I mean, I can't imagine anything worse than people literally going hungry on a holiday that he uh, wants to defend. So, I mean, maybe he should do something about that. Uh, you have another twist on the don't tread on me flag with patriotic choking noises, which is, you know, sad, but actually kind of accurate. You have folks memeing uh, his come and take it photo with a stretcher and a body bag uh, because that's what he's basically encouraging. I mean, we have some pretty good uh, Judge Judy and John Oliver memes. Somebody posted a photo of coronavirus saying, come get it. Uh, and then you <laughs> You have this one, which made me laugh out loud. This meme saying, uh, weird hill to die on, but at least you're dead. <laughs> That's so ruthless. Uh, you have somebody making a reference to the porn that he liked on his public Twitter account when he didn't realize that he wasn't logged on to his throwaway account. And of course, you have more memes with uh, Come and Get It featuring coronavirus and pictures of Ted Cruz's face photoshopped on a turkey, which I have to admit made me laugh way harder than it should have probably. And this just goes on and on and on and on. And I feel like even though this is a serious issue, it's healthy for normal people, reasonable people to laugh at things like this because it really like when you sit back and you think about it, this really is depressing. Like Ted Cruz, it's not just one person saying this. It's not just sad because a member of the United States Senate is saying this. This type of mindset is widespread in the United States of America, where if you go to any local a uh, news outlet posting, you know, just general statistics about COVID-19, you see all the comments. Where's the evidence? Hoax. Like, just batshit insane things. So, you know, it's nice to see people clown on stupid people. Uh, not necessarily because I think this is going to help move the needle, but because, you know, individuals in Congress, even though the bar is super low, we should at least expect them to try to, like, set a good example. But individuals like Ted Cruz, he's trying to position himself to be the next edgy outsider like Donald Trump. And so he does things like this. He makes these weird, cringeworthy tweets on Twitter where he tries to like make it seem as if he is this badass. And you're Ted Cruz. 
So that persona is never going to apply to you because you are Ted Cruz. You are a goober who ate a booger on national television during a televised debate. You're just, you're unlikable. And, you know, the worst part is you don't even have policies that benefit people's lives. If you were unlikable but had good policies, I'd give you a pass. But you're a dipshit and you have policies that would destroy the planet and the country. So whenever Ted Cruz gets dunked on, I'm going to be here for it because he deserves it. Beta male, not a beta male.